The fourth episode of season three shows one of the most pivotal moments in Game of Thrones, marking the collapse of order within Craster's keep. After Craster enrages the men of the Night's Watch, Carl Tanner stabs him, leading to chaos. As Craster is killed, there's a visible production mistake. A blood packet in his mouth can be seen just before he spits out blood. The error disrupts the immersion of an otherwise powerful scene. It breaks the tension in a moment that showcases the savagery of Carl and the internal strife within the Night's Watch. The blood packet, likely intended to make the wound more realistic, detracts from the brutality of the moment by reminding viewers of the production process. In episode two, during Jamie Lannister's intense fight with Brienne of Tarth, continuity errors occur in the positioning of Jamie's sword. At one point in the scene, the sword is angled upward and away from Brienne's arm. In the next shot, the sword is suddenly resting along her arm without any natural transition. This mistake interrupts the flow of the fight, which is otherwise a well-choreographed confrontation between two formidable characters. This battle is essential for character development, as it is the first major confrontation between Jamie and Brienne symbolizing their mutual respect and growing camaraderie. The sword's inconsistent positioning slightly diminishes the impact of the action, but doesn't fully detract from the scene's significance. The Red Wedding, which happened in Episode 9, is one of the most shocking and devastating moments in Game of Thrones, but even this scene has a notable continuity error. As Rob Stark crawls towards his wife, Talisa, her body appears to change position between shots. Initially, her head is positioned one way, but moments later, her body has rotated 180 degrees, with no logical explanation. This inconsistency disrupts the emotional intensity of Rob's final moments with his wife. Given that the Red Wedding was intended to be filmed in one continuous take, this error stands out, making it clear that some shots were reshot or spliced together. This breaks the illusion of fluidity during one of the series' most heart-wrenching sequences. During Hoster Tully's funeral in Episode 3, Rob Stark and Blackfish Tully push the funeral boat into the river. After they climb back onto the dock, there is already a visible water trail leading from the river to the dock, which is an obvious sign of multiple takes. This error occurs in a solemn scene meant to reflect on loss and family unity, contrasting the show's otherwise high level of attention to detail. The mistake makes the scene feel slightly staged, pulling the audience out of the reflective moment. The repeated takes necessary to get the right shot likely caused the water trail to appear prematurely, which was overlooked in the final edit. In episode 7, Jamie Lannister is being tended to after losing his hand. A white ointment is applied to his stump to disinfect it before bandaging. However, in a continuity mistake, the ointment disappears between shots before the bandage is applied. This error is minor but noticeable, as it happens during a crucial moment when Jamie's vulnerability and humanity are revealed. His conversation with Brienne during this scene is emotionally charged, and the disappearance of the ointment distracts from the depth of the interaction. Despite this small error, the scene remains a significant turning point for Jamie's character development. In episode 6, The Climb, the Wildlings and Jon Snow are camped before attempting to scale the wall. During a scene at the Wildling camp, a glaring production mistake occurs. A modern building is visible in the background. This error breaks the immersion of the medieval fantasy setting, briefly pulling viewers out of Westeros and into the present day. The moment occurs when Jon and Egret are preparing to continue their journey, and while the focus is on their tense conversation about loyalty, the appearance of contemporary architecture undermines the scene's atmosphere. Given the level of visual realism that Game of Thrones is known for, spotting a modern structure like this comes as a surprise, disrupting the carefully crafted world. Later in the same episode, after the harrowing climb up the wall, Jon Snow Snow and Egret share a kiss at the top of the wall in a dramatic and romantic moment. However, just before the camera pans out for a wide shot of the landscape, Tormund and Arell, who were sitting next to Jon and Egret, suddenly disappear from view. The vanishing act is never explained, and the continuity error is noticeable, given that Tormund and Orel had been key characters in the scene just moments before. This inconsistency in the placement of characters within the same scene disrupts the emotional flow of the moment. Throughout season three, several battle scenes suffer from continuity errors involving sword placement. For example, characters' swords switch hands or positions between shots without any logical transitions. These errors are especially prominent in fast-paced, large-scale battles where the action is intense and the editing is rapid. The changing sword positions break the sense of fluidity and realism in combat sequences, which are otherwise meticulously choreographed. These mistakes occur because of the challenge of filming multiple takes from different angles, leading to inconsistencies when the final scene is edited together. While the errors don't take away from the epic scale of the battles, they can be distracting for keen-eyed viewers. In another instance from episode 6, as Jon Snow and Igrid enter a cave, some modern equipment and clutter can be seen in the background. This error is a result of overlooked production gear being left in the shot, an unusual occurrence for a show as polished as Game of Thrones. The scene is meant to focus on Jon and Igrid's intimate moment away from the chaos of their surroundings. However, the appearance of the crew's equipment briefly disrupts the atmosphere of isolation and adventure that the scene is supposed to convey. It's a small but noticeable error, especially 
especially for a scene that's otherwise filled with emotional tension. The Red Wedding is one of the most iconic and brutal moments in television history, but even this devastating scene isn't without its continuity issues. During the massacre, the amount of blood on various characters, particularly Rob Stark, changes inconsistently between shots. In one frame, Rob is covered in blood, but in the next, the blood appears to have diminished, only to increase again later. The fluctuating blood levels can be attributed to the complexity of filming such a high-intensity scene, with multiple takes and different camera angles required to capture the emotions of each character. While the changing blood levels don't detract from the emotional weight of the scene, they do represent a continuity oversight in an otherwise perfectly crafted moment. In episode 5 in the trial by combat between Sandor Clegane, known as the Hound, and Beric Dondarrion, there's a continuity error regarding the Hound's sword. Throughout the fight, which is intense and filled with symbolism, especially since Beric wields a flaming sword, the Hound's weapon mysteriously switches hands between shots without any clear indication of him making the switch. This error detracts from the seamless flow of an otherwise gripping battle, where the Hound overcomes his fear of fire and ultimately kills Beric. The duel is crucial for several reasons. It highlights the Hound's fear of fire due to his childhood trauma, and underscores Beric's repeated resurrections by Thoros of Mir, reinforcing the power of the Lord of Light. This battle is a pivotal moment in Arya's arc as well, as she witnesses Beric's resurrection, which deepens her cynicism about life and death in Westeros. Throughout Jon Snow's journey with the Wildlings, one glaring omission is his dire wolf, Ghost. The bond between Jon and Ghost is well established early in the series, with the dire wolf saving Jon's life on several occasions. However, during key moments of Jon's infiltration of the Wildlings and his developing relationship with Egret, Ghost is conspicuously absent. This is particularly jarring given the centrality of the dire wolves to the Stark children and their symbolic and practical significance. Budgetary constraints likely played a role in this absence, as CGI for the dire wolves was expensive and challenging. Nevertheless, the lack of Ghost during critical moments in Jon's journey diminishes the emotional connection viewers have come to expect from their relationship, making it feel incomplete at times. In Episode 3, Walk of Punishment, a solemn moment takes place as the Night's Watch burns the bodies of their fallen brothers. However, there's a noticeable continuity error, where the positioning of the corpses on the funeral pyre changes between shots. This mistake likely occurred due to the complexity of shooting such a scene over multiple takes, but it interrupts the emotional gravity of the ritual, which is meant to convey the dire situation the Night's Watch is facing beyond the wall. The pyre represents the grim reality of their losses, and the changing corpse positions slightly undermine the scene's intended weight. This episode is otherwise a powerful exploration of themes like duty, sacrifice, and the brutal conditions faced by the Watch. Throughout several scenes depicting Rob Stark's military camps, the positioning of tents changes between shots, making it seem as though the camp has mysteriously relocated. This error occurs multiple times during Rob's campaign in the Riverlands, where his forces are seen shifting positions despite no indication of movement. Given the careful planning and strategy Rob employs in his war against the Lannisters, these inconsistencies detract from the sense of realism and military precision that his character is known for. Rob's leadership is under intense pressure, especially following his decision to execute Lord Karstark, and such visual inconsistencies take away from the otherwise serious tone of his declining power. A noticeable error in Episode 4, and now his watch is ended, concerns Jilly's baby, who appears to grow significantly between episodes, suggesting an unrealistic passage of time. In earlier episodes, Jilly is still pregnant, and by Episode 4, she has already given birth. However, just a short time later, the baby looks much older than it should, indicating that not enough time has passed for such rapid growth. This inconsistency is jarring, especially in a show where timelines can already feel ambiguous. Given that Jilly's baby is central to her storyline, the sudden age progression is an odd mistake, disrupting the continuity of the narrative. Episode 4 is a key turning point in the Night's Watch storyline, where a mutiny occurs at Craster's Keep. As tensions rise, the men, frustrated and starving, rebel against both Craster and their Lord Commander Jor Mormont. Amid this chaos, a small but noticeable mistake occurs. The reflection of the camera crew is briefly visible on a reflective surface during the mutiny. This technical error breaks the immersion of the intense scene, momentarily reminding viewers that they're watching a production rather than being immersed in the gritty and raw emotions of the Night's Watch revolt. Given that the episode is filled with betrayal, death, and an anarchic collapse, this production slip stands out against the backdrop of otherwise seamless storytelling. The mutiny is a climactic moment, marking the beginning of the Night's Watch's descent into disorder north of the Wall, yet the reflection serves as a brief distraction from the narrative's emotional weight. In Episode 3, Rob Stark's leadership is under immense strain as he navigates the delicate political and military challenges of his war against the Lannisters. In a scene where Rob is preparing for battle, viewers notice a continuity error with his armor straps. Initially, his armor appears perfectly secured, but in the very next shot, the strap 
gaps are shown to be undone. This kind of mistake, though small, disrupts the flow of the scene, especially given Rob's reputation as a precise and competent leader. The visual inconsistency contrasts with his character's calculated military strategies. This episode emphasizes Rob's struggles as he grapples with the consequences of his decision to execute Lord Karstark, leading to the eventual unraveling of his forces. The armor error may seem insignificant, but it slightly undercuts the tension of a scene that portrays a crucial moment in Rob's campaign. During the Red Wedding, another noticeable continuity error occurs. During the massacre, Catelyn Stark is seen pleading for her son Rob's life, but in the middle of this gut-wrenching scene, her scarf disappears between shots. One moment she is wearing it, and the next, it's gone. This mistake, while minor, momentarily disrupts the viewer's engagement with the horror of the event. The Red Wedding is a carefully orchestrated betrayal, filled with emotional depth and tension, and Catelyn's plea for mercy is one of the most heart-wrenching moments of the series. Despite the scarf's sudden disappearance, the scene retains its emotional power, though attentive viewers may notice the slip in continuity. That brings us to the end of this video. Let us know which error seemed the most ridiculous to you, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.